Okay, and welcome back students who are taking math for business and finance and math applications. Um, we're doing the chapter 5 summary practice test and we only have two more problems to go. So let's jump right into um, problem number 5. Okay, now this is going to be a little bit more difficult. Okay, and remember from our word problems we had the same type of scenario. If um, Let me go back a slide here. Okay, um, in this in our last problem for number four, okay, we had um, the situation where Jill plus Abby was equal to 1,200, and then all we need, needed to do was we needed to set the relationship. You know, um, Abby we set as C, and Jill was five times Abby, or 5C, and then all we did was just plug those in, you know, to their respective spots in that equation but now we also when we're coming into this next problem um, we're running into an issue here with uh, uh, the there's a difference in price back here the price was the same so it doesn't matter what the price is it could have been ten dollars a hundred dollars two thousand dollars or even ten cents because the price of the calculators was the same all we're trying to figure out is the quantity but over here in this problem it says target sells sets of pots for $30 and so we have pots and dishes at $20 at the local stores All right so there's a difference here uh, in price so we don't have uh, we can't just set up the relationship of pots plus dishes we have to set up the relationship of pots at $30 and dishes at $20 would equal whatever on July uh, whatever that amount is. So it says here on July 4th weekend, Target's total sales were 2,600. Okay, so now that becomes our our equation. If the price of the the pots and dishes w was the same, then all we would need is just pots plus dishes is equal to 2,600. Okay, but because there's a difference in the price, then and then remember this is dollars okay then we're going to end up having um, this is an inequality we can't treat them as if they're exactly the same and that's why we have to weight them for lack of a better word by the amount of the price that each is sold for okay so this is going to be our basic equation that we're looking at but there's a relationship here people bought six times as many pots as dishes so the pots people bought six times as many pots as dishes and again since the pots are based upon the number of dishes we set our dishes and let's call it um, I don't know uh, D for dishes <laughs> duh <laughs> um, let's set our, our dishes to D and then we since our pots are six times as many dishes we plug in the variable D into the into the pot so six times D or 6D okay and that's the relationship I mean think about it here's our dishes and here's our six times the number of dishes so whenever you're trying to solve for these problems always look at that relationship and see which one is based upon the other and the easier one you, you set a variable and then you could figure out the other side All right so now what do we have okay so we have a d for dishes and we have 6d for pots okay so our formula now comes we're going to replace the pots with our 6d so we have 6d times 30 plus and now we put in our d for dishes and they're at 20 dollars and that's equal to 2600 now we do the math um, 6 times 30 is 180 D plus 20 times D is 20 D and that's equal to $2,600 okay and now combine those together 180 plus 20 is 200 D is equal to 2600 and um, to isolate the D we divide both sides by 200 so our D ends up being that and that cancels um, ends up being 13 
So D it ends up being 13, so our dishes end up being 13, and our pots are 6 times D, or 6 times 13, and that gives us, what, 78. Okay. Now, uh, let's, you know, check to see if D is equal to 13, and we do that by plugging um, those numbers back into our original equation, okay? Um, and we do that by saying, okay, for our pots, we had 78 pots at $30 each. And we had 13 dishes at $20 each, and that equals 2,600. So uh, let's see, 78 um, times 30, so that's 0, 24, 4, 2, 21, 2,344 are pots, plus... Let's see, that's 0, 260 for our dishes, and that equals 2,600. And then we add 2,340 and 260, that's 2,600, is equal to 2,600. And we know that uh, our dishes, our variable D is 13. And then that proves that, that it's correct, okay? All right, um, last problem here in the summary practice test. And just be aware that um, for these problems, you know, we had quite a few of those in our word problems. So if you need more, if you didn't watch the word problems and you need uh, additional uh, help understanding it, go back to watching the videos for the word problems. And uh, you'll see that uh, you'll see the same type of relationships happening there and the same pattern for working out the problems. Okay. All right. Last question here. A local Domino's sold a total of 1,600 small pizzas at $9 and pasta dinners at $13. Okay, so we have um, pizzas, 1,600 pizzas at $9 and A total of, let me read this, okay, I'm getting tripped up on the wording here, so let me think about this. A local domino sold a total of 1,600 small pizzas at $9 and pasta dinners at $13 during a Super Bowl. How many of each did Domino sell if total sales were uh, 15,600? And so we have uh, dinners at 13, and our total sales is 15,600. 15, um, okay, I'm reading this wrong. Okay, I'm reading this wrong, and that happens. All right, let me let me explain here. It says Domino's sold a total of 1,600 small pizzas and pasta dinners. So it's not 1,600 pizzas, okay? It's 1,600 pizzas and dinners for a total of 15,600, right? And the reason why I'm looking at that in that way is because of the relationship between the pizzas and the, the pasta dinners, all right? Think of it this way. Here's my, here's my box. And I, I do this in a lot when it becomes more and more difficult. I like to diagram things out. I draw pictures so that I can understand things. I have a total of 1,600 in this box. And in this box, I have both pizzas and dinners. Okay. So how do I determine how many pizzas and how many dinners do I have? Well... I can I can set one let's let's just say dinners okay let's set dinners as a variable d okay that means that if I have 1600 total my pizzas would have to be 1600 minus 
the number of dinners. That's the relationship I'm looking for here. My, I set my dinners to D and my pizzas to 1600 D. And being able to do that, now I could come back into my formula, my equation here, and plug those in. So I have, for pizzas, I have um, the quantity 1600 minus D, and that's times the $9 plus the uh, dinners. All right, we're going to set that as D, so that's going to stay at 13D. And that's going to total my sales of $15,600. All right. Now it's just a matter of doing the math. Um, uh, nine times 1,600, let's see here, would be let's see, 0, 0, 54, 1,440, uh, 14,400, minus 9 times D is 9D, plus 13D. And that would equal 15.6. And we put all of our variables on the left and all of our constants on the right. So um, a minus 9D plus 13D ends up being 4D. And when we move the 14,400 across the equal sign, that ends up being a minus 14.4 because we changed the sign. And the difference between those two numbers ends up being uh, $1,200. And then, of course, to isolate the D further, we uh, divide both sides by 4. And D ends up being 300. Okay, so we have 300, we have 300 dinners. Okay, and for our pizzas, we have 1,600 minus the 300 dinners and that ends up being for our pizzas we end up with 1300 uh, small pizzas okay and lastly to check we're going to plug those numbers in the 1300 and the 300 back into our original equation here so if I have pizzas at 1300 times 9 plus my dinners of 300 times 13 that should equal 15,600. So let's see here. That's 0, 0, 27, 2, 11. So that's 11,700 plus uh, 0, 0, 3,900. And that should equal 15,6. And let's see, that's 4, 5, 6. Yep, and that's 15,6 is equal to 15,6. Okay, all right. Um, let me just kind of quickly go back, go back over this here. All right, um, and I'm not going to do the math, so pause and write all of this down. But I'm going to erase this to try to just talk about it uh, in one stretch. If you understood it, uh, you know, go ahead and um, stop the tape. You don't have to watch the stop the video. You don't have to watch the rest of it. But let's. Let's see what we got going on here and maybe this next time around it's a little bit easier okay it says here Domino's sold a total of 1600 small pizzas and pasta dinners so we have um, pizzas plus dinners is equal to 1600 now what's the relationship okay now remember, the pizzas are at $9, dinners are at $1,300, and it's asking how many did each did how many each did Domino's sell if its total sales were $1,500. Okay, so when I first read this, I was thinking that the total was $1,600, but because you see I have two totals, both can't be the you know can't be the two totals. So I had to rethink through what the problem was actually asking me. It's telling me that um, Domino's Here's, here's Domino's, right? Domino's delivers. And then Domino's, um, there was a total of 1,600 sales. Domino's sold 1,600 in sales. And they sold pizzas and they sold dinners. So if this is pizzas and dinners, I set one of them um, to uh, a variable. So I said, um, let's call dinners. And we set that as D. 
and that means that the pizzas has to be 1600 minus the D okay and with that said now that we know that we're going we're going to use the variable D for dinner and 1600 minus D um, for the pizzas we come back to a, you know our equation we have pizzas which were at nine dollars plus our dinners which were at thirteen hundred dollars and that was equal to the fifteen uh, six okay so now we can go and we can replace the pizzas and the dinners here we can replace the pizzas and the dinners here with our two variables so when we do that for the pizzas we're, we're going to replace the, the P with um, 1600 minus D and that's times the 9 and we know that we're adding because we're selling pizzas and dinners and of course our D we, um, for our dinners we used a variable D and that's $13 at D and that is equal to 15.6 okay? and then of course it's just a matter of doing the math and ending up with D being, uh, it was what, 300, okay? So that was D being 300 for the dinners. And of course, we had 1600 minus the 300 for the pizzas. And that means the number of pizzas we had was 1300. And to prove it, we take, and we replace our pizzas up here with the 1300 times the nine we add it to the number of dinners, which was 300 times the $13 a dinner, and that should equal to $15,600. And when you do the math, it ended up being 15.6 equaling 15.6. Okay. All right. That's it. And I will, you know, that's it for chapter five, and we'll be moving on to chapter six in the next set of videos.